What a shame. What a show of shame. Viewers, I know say some of you go don't see the video where they go viral some hours ago. On to say police officers, Nigerian policemen in police uniform, struggling and dragging, struggling and dragging their guns with civilians. Nigerian police officers in Nigerian police uniform struggling and dragging their guns with civilians. Viewers, as I saw that video, I'm not going to tell you a lie. I was dumbfounded, bedeviled, catapulted into a prolific paroxysm. By the way, don't ask me for the meanings of these grammars because I don't know. Let me not waste your time. Please sit back, relax, and watch the video and see where Nigerian policemen they struggle with their guns with civilians. I shall be right back. Hey! Welcome back viewers. As I talk to you now, verse, now verse through my heart. Shame, no shame won't kill me. Sete, na Nigerian policeman in uniform, na I can't for grant. Nigerian policeman in uniform, on the floor, dragging and struggling with their guns, with civilians, bloody civilians for that matter. Now, as this video they go viral, I don't they hear comments. I don't listen to so many comments from uh, viewers, from people. Some they castigate the uh, the two civilians, say why they gonna struggle uh, with policemen with their gun. You know, some they uh, castigate the police, say. Why they no use the gun, kill the civilians, do this, do that. Let me tell you something. However you lay your bed, that is how you are going to lie on it. As you lay your bed, as you arrange your bed, eh? now so you go lie on top. Nigerian police has ridiculed itself, has ridiculed the force. Eh? To the extent, even Aburo, the slap police and get away with it for Nigeria. Aburo, they slap Niger Nigerian police and get away with it. This kind of thing, can it happen in any developed society? In fact, even any other African African uh, 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 society, African country, can this kind of thing happen? Say police don't reduce themselves so much so that civilians, they get morale, gather liver, the struggle gone with the police. What a shame. What a show of shame. Now, what thing can they happen? Policemen collected their phone. They give me my phone. I know they give you my phone. Give me my phone. I know they give you the phone. That, that is it. Now, recall that a couple of days back, Nigerian police force couple of days back, suspended two female police officers. What was their crime? Say they went, they went to socialize. They were at the beach in their bikini and they took shots and posted on social media. That was why Nigerian police suspended them. With other photos they took, the two sisters, police officers took, in their casual outfits and attires 
and the sent online. That was why Nigerian police suspended them. And then the spokesperson for the Nigerian police defended by saying that those were acts of indiscipline. They wanted to, or they want to rebrand the image of the Nigerian police. For that reason, they, they need to use some people as deterrents so that others will, you know, uh, sit up. Now, you sack or you suspended people that were off duty and then went to socialize like every other normal human being. Remember, I did a video concerning that and I told the police, the Nigerian police, that it's high time you overhaul the system. It's high time you call yourselves to order because the system is so porous. Now, what can we call? How will a policeman, what concerns a policeman with a passersby, a citizen's phone? If they were criminals, you, you arrest them, take them to the station. What would make a policeman condescend so low to collect a passersby, an ordinary citizen, a civilian's phone? And then the civilian starts requesting, give me my phone, I will not give you your phone, give me your phone, I will not give you your phone. It degenerated to the point that there was a scuffle, struggle, can't enter into the matter, policeman now, I can't Does that make sense? The plenty work where the Nigerian police force is supposed to do, to prune itself, you know, to remove the, the, the chaff, they didn't do it. They're not doing that to suspend innocent people. We are on earth, we are in any country of the world, we, especially the civilized societies that can this kind of thing happen. Where? Now, um, like I said earlier on, a lot of comments have been going viral, going online, you know, social media platforms. So we are supporting the, uh, you know, casting and castigating the civilians, the two guys. Uh, they will suffer in police net, uh, they will go to jail, they will do this. Police for shoot them, police for no kill them, this, that, that, this. Me, I have a very different opinion now, because it is the fingers that taps the drum and then the drum is able to bring out sound. If the fingers didn't, you know, tap the drum, there won't be any sound. If the police didn't bring themselves, stoop so low as to collect, you see people passing, hey, come here, out of obedience, they came to you. And uh, where are you going? This, that, that. You collected the food. What for? Are you telling me now that uh, innocent citizens don't have right to their phones? They don't have right to go about with their cell phones? Why are you collecting their phones? Why will you collect somebody's phone? That is that same, you know, that same corruption within the system. Before you know it, they will start demanding money before they will release the phone. Like I said, if you had caught them anywhere stealing, if they are criminal in any any any, any, any criminal act, take them to the station. You have no business with their phones. You know? So please, I don't know what um, is on your mind. I decided to shoot this video so that uh, let it go over and let us see what we are talking about. So please use the comment section. Let me know what you feel. You know, are you in support of the guys? going to the extent of struggling with police with their guns just for them to have their phone back or are you of the opinion that they would have you know not gone into that kind of suicide mission because to me if i look at it from one angle it was a suicide mission because if uh, in fact I, i'm even surprised that those policemen didn't act like a typical nigerian police the nigerian police uh, killing us and the uh, passerby killing us and the citizens and the they will say it's accidental discharge. How much more you are struggling with him over the gun? That's enough uh, reason for, for, for you know to gun somebody down. I'm even surprised that even his colleagues that were standing, or even the policeman, he, he's uh, holding the gun tight, didn't even release a shot. I, I was surprised. Unlike the typical Nigerian police, you know. So are you are you are you thinking that the two young uh, civilians, you know? Impact. That was a very suicide mission for them to do that. 
would have left their phone and go or follow a more diplomatic uh, means or perhaps even drop some money some a gunja for them to have their phone back or are you feeling that uh, you know that confrontation is very very much okay at least fire for fire tooth for tooth as they match them boot for boot that uh, is that the best thing to do and again are you among those blaming the police that they should have used it, that they are gone on those civilians to kill them and nothing will happen you know so um your comment is needed please and uh, if you are a newcomer you know please hurry and subscribe to this channel and if you're a regular you have done nobly please keep viewing and keep watching pepsi channel like the videos as i send them your way especially like this particular video and uh, uh, you know share it let it go viral and don't forget to hit the bell button press the bell button please so that each time i upload any video it will definitely come your way don't forget to put your comments you know in the comment section until i come your way next time i am yours sincerely thank you